This month marks 50 years since the death of legendary martial arts actor Bruce Lee. Yeah, the San Francisco native was the most visible Asian American in Hollywood in the 60s and 70s, and his influence is still felt today. New season of the TV series Warrior honors Lee's legacy in San Francisco Chinatown. Jia Vang sat down with actress Olivia Chang, one of the main cast members in the show, to talk history, activism, and representation. Maybe you should think about leaving town. It's too late for that. Plus, do you have any idea how long it took to put this dress on? Olivia Chang is fierce in her role as Ah Toy in the TV series Warrior. The show is inspired by the writings and work of Bruce Lee, who was born at Chinese Hospital on Jackson Street in San Francisco Chinatown. Warrior is set in the late 1800s during the Chinatown Gang Wars. Ah Toy was one of the first Chinese women to arrive in the city during the gold rush. She was a sex worker and madam. What little we know of Ah Toy, and I think it's really telling that Anything that is written about her is from a man's point of view. I think it's such a loss that we will never hear Otto's story in her own words. This is not China. It's Chinatown. Really? You're going to start a revolution in a brothel? Bar rooms and brothels are where revolutions are usually born. To be an Asian woman at that time, to arguably, arguably be maybe the first Asian woman to use the court systems to her advantage to take on customers who swindled her, to take on the tongs who tried to bully her. The tenacity and resourcefulness and the entrepreneurship to pull that off in that time, I, I can't even imagine. She started a peep show by all accounts and then she franchised it. So this is Waverly Street. Back then, Otway's brothel was on Waverly near Sacramento Street in Chinatown. Today, it's businesses and homes. This might have been where the real Otway did her peep shows. That blows my mind because I've been down this street. Like, I came down this street last year when I came into town to speak mm -hmm. on the anniversary of the Atlanta spa shootings. And I had no idea that I was so close to a piece of history that has so affected my life. Right. You know, when you're a kid growing up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, it's like the furthest thing from Hollywood. You know, when I was a kid growing up, I remember staging table reads at recess. Um, I would ask my teachers, instead of essays, could I shoot a short movie? about the subject matter. Could I write a play? Chang always wanted to be a creator. In fact, before she was an actor, oh. she was a news reporter. While one group was singing in a room on the second floor, police say several members from the other group burst. I went into probably every newsroom in town and I volunteered. I washed dishes, I pulled cables, I answered phones um, until one newsroom actually gave me the opportunity to train as a script assistant. And then when I graduated, they offered me a full-time position, and I said, I, I, I want to be a news reporter. During that time, Chang also took jobs as an extra in Christmas movies. In 2006, she got her first big acting job in the Western miniseries Broken Trail. What's changing in that landscape, in the creative arts, and, and with Asian, Asians and Asian Americans? Anecdotally, yeah. I definitely see opportunities and characters and breakdowns that just did not exist six years ago. If you were to statistically break down the number of Asians on screen and in executive positions and behind the cameras, we still represent a very, very, very small number. It makes me a little sad that I can never just talk about just being an actor and being a project, that so much of my career is going to be tied into my racial identity. I want to talk about maybe some of the moments in recent memory that have really impacted you and, and where you found you have to use your voice mm -hmm. as an actor. Look to the Asian women around you. Look to the grassroots organizations that are leading. The Atlanta spa shootings. I think that was the point in the pandemic where I felt an extreme hopelessness because in that moment I was like, everything I've ever done is child's play. How do you use what you were going through, those emotions and those feelings, um, how do you use it now in the roles that you play? We can't avoid what has actually happened in history. Our show can't avoid it. Bruce Lee's imagination was stoked by that specific era because of the Chinese Exclusion Act. 
Bruce Lee's presence on screen, as we all know, it, it's, it's, it's lit a fire that has lasted beyond his lifetime. You know, San Francisco has been such a mecca of Asian American history. And that was a powerful interview there from our Gia Vang. If you want to learn more about Bruce Lee's life, career, and see historical artifacts, check out the We Are Bruce Lee exhibit at the CHSA Museum in San Francisco, Chinatown.